Hi! So, today I'll be showing you madcaps. Now, what are madcaps? Well, once upon a time, you may have seen a texture quite like this. Now, what this is, is it's a madcap. Now, what this means is that it's basically a little material cap that allows you to map a kind of look to a material. So essentially, this texture here gets sampled depending on how the normals are rotated relative to your viewpoint. And if that doesn't tell you what they do, I can show you. Now, we're going to be using the Zyze2 material for this, and we already have our madcap in here. If you go over here, uh, you can see that this probably doesn't explain it at all. However, if we go on to a more simple mesh, like this sphere, you can see that this pretty much looks exactly like the image over there. And as you can see, we have the slice across here, we have the little dot on the top, and that, that's it. Now, on something like this, it might be still a bit hard to tell what is going on. However, if we grab an image like this here, and replace the madcap with it, which is just a simple color wheel, you can see that we have the red of the color wheel on top, the purple on the side, green on the green on the right side, and blue at the bottom. Because depending on how angled the normals of this mesh are, well, the triangles are away from us, the farther away from the center of the texture it's going to sample the pixels. So if we look at something like this, if things are rotated very like far up, you can see that we have red. And at the bottom, so we have blue. On the things that are edged towards the right, we have green. And the things that are edged towards the left, we have purple. Now, one thing with this is that not only is it based on the mesh directly, because this is, for example, a sphere, it is also based on the normal map on the material. So if on a normal map we put in a normal map like this, that just distorts them a little bit, and then just lower the normal scale to, oop, right, this goes negative, so it's like 0 0.05, you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of warping going on now. And if we look over here, you'll be able to see the same kind of warping. Now if we grab this and take it with us over here, and then slowly push that normal scale up, you'll see that it more and more warps as the normals distort, because the mesh normals are added together with the normal maps normals, and that gives us then a completely different direction that the map have a sample from which actually can make some really nice effects, as on here. Now pairing this with a nice looking mesh, you can then get some really neat effects, like here, where it has this kind of pearlescent kind of look to it, where depending on what angle you look at it, it also has a completely different look to it. Now obviously this can help you with some metallic stuff that is like less realistic, or just if you want something to look cool. Now another thing is that since it is based on the normals, this can also help you figure out when something is on the outside of it. So what you could also do is if you, instead of actually making your Mac perfectly like this, have a black rim around it, that basically makes the, this little sphere here be smaller than the entire texture. This allows you to actually then, if we turn the normals off, it would allow you to have a kind of black outline. As you can see here, because of how pixelated I made the madcap, it already does have a little bit of like a black outline. Now, this allows you to do some very nice shading effects without actually having to do much work, because now the sides, the very extreme sides of the model are going to have that kind of black kind of outline. But yeah, uh, I hope this explains how madcaps work, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you've got any specific suggestions for something for me to cover, drop them down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.